Hello and welcome to Scary Town. This week we're going to review Say Cheese and Die. Back. One picture is worth a thousand screams. That's the tagline for this one. On the back it says every picture tells a story. The basic idea of the story it was also the Are You Afraid of Your Dark episode, which is essentially this, the same kind of scenario, a cursed camera that every picture it takes, it causes something bad happen to the subject of the, the photo. And I recently watched the Twilight Zone episode of which all this is inspired by and it's it's more different than it the camera itself does bad things it's tells the future in every picture it takes and so it's a little bit different and so our main characters are Greg and Sherry who are really the ones that carry the story and they have the two friends who play the supporting role uh, Bird and Michael Bird is a class clown of the group. Of course, because he has the next name Bird, because he he's like this scrawny-looking kid, and he's you know he has like this long nose that looks kind of like a beak, and so they always joke around with him. And Michael's just he's just an ordinary kid, nothing too special with him. Sherry is very energetic, aggressive. And Greg is kind of an ordinary kid too, there's nothing all that special about it. The story starts on a hot summer day and they're just bored out of their minds and they're like asking each other like, hey, you know, like we should do something. And so there's this abandoned building that this character who's a homeless guy called Spidey because he's dressed all in black, he has like black long, long black hair, they think of him like kind of like crawling and skeetering around like a spider. He uses the Kaufman house as a place to stay and so it's Greg that comes up with the idea like because all the kids are afraid to go in there because they think it's haunted or you know there's dead bodies in there or something. And he's like hey you guys want to do something really fun and exciting let's go explore the Kaufman house and then they're like uh oh. I think it's like Michael's like like kind of scared of this idea like ah, I shouldn't do it you know and so they they go to the house and the front door they it's like this glass is broken and so you can easily like reach your hand through and unlock the door and they they explore the house it's a two-story house and so there's a funny part where the kids are messing around with there's some clothes left over and in the closet and they're like putting on like these look like 60s kind of clothes like bell bottoms and they put on like this these feather boas and stuff like that they were like these clothes are awesome why would anybody leave them behind and then I think it's either Greg or Michael or Mark's like I'm sure they probably had a good reason and maybe they'll come back for me or something it's kind of like trying to scare the other kids and so it's Greg that kind of wanders off into this uh, storage room in the back that nobody has, has paid attention to and there's this work table with a bunch of tools and there's this vice and he's just like just out of curiosity he just spins the vice and it opens up this uh, secret compartment on the wall and there's this uh, funky looking camera and he's like oh that's kind of cool this is kind of where like the story is like the main character has this obsession with cameras like he's he's super into cameras but he, he can't afford to get a, a really nice camera and so it's just coincidentally he's like this big camera nut and then he finds this camera and so <laughs> if it fits perfectly with the story. Greg goes over to Michael and is like, hey, I'll take your picture. And, and Michael's like, strikes a pose and he has like one of the feather bobas and he's like, looking all goofy. 
and then it's one of those self-developing cameras and he's looking at the, the picture and then while he's waiting for it to develop Michael goes out the door and, and then all of a sudden there's this crash and Michael cries out and the railing has given away because it's probably like older but uh, and he falls down to the stairs and he's 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 hurt his, his leg it's not serious but he's just like <laughs> in a lot of pain and Gregor's is like all freaking out once the picture finally develops it's, it shows in the same scene of Michael like in pain like uh you know and then he shows it to Michael and everything he's like uh oh, they're kind of freaked out about it. It's like, ah, oh, it's probably like a trick camera or something. It's, they don't really think too much of it. So the a few days pass, and in this time, Greg has taken a picture of his dad's new car. And he's, they've been saving up for this car for a long time. Everyone's been looking forward to it. Uh, once the the picture develops it shows that the the car is demolished like completely wrecked and he's like oh this is getting kind of crazy then he takes a picture of his uh, brother Terry is his older brother and the picture just shows him outside and he's looks like he's in a state of uh, shock and just looks very troubled. During dinner, like they're the family's planning a a trip in the, the car and then Greg's like piling on all these excuses like he doesn't feel well and all this kind of stuff. Like he was gonna go to Michael's house and say like, Oh you can go tomorrow and you know, basically saying like you know, you can say what you want but you're gonna come in the car with us. He's just this is all freaking out and because you know this, the car is going to get crushed and they could be in an accident and so everything's going fine and the, the dad's like kind of like speeding up a little bit more and then Terry's kind of like you know telling him like yeah let's, let's go faster you know S see how, how fast this car can go and the dad is looking for the, the headlights button and he's just like uh where is it? And he's not paying attention and this semi comes by and it looks like it's almost gonna hit them and as Greg like yells out like watch out for the, the truck and then the dad like quickly swerves out of the way and they're throwing off the, the road but they're okay and then the mom's just like all freaking like you know we could have been killed and the dad's like eh don't worry about it you know and it's like Let's keep on driving, but then the mom and everyone else is like, "This, this, go home," you know. <laughs> after, after that scare, you know, don't feel like going anywhere else. It's like, okay, fine. And so, so far, that hasn't come true. It's, it makes it makes Greg feel a little bit better. And then, the next day, they go to Bird a baseball game. He's in little league. Greg takes a picture of, of Bird. And the picture develops and it shows that Bird is like on the floor and his neck is craned in this awkward position and his eyes are like like shut, like he's been knocked out. And then they're all scared and they're saying like, you know, Greg's like trying to say like, hey, you know, all this weird stuff's been happening with the, the photos this camera's been taking, like uh, maybe you should uh, not go out there and it's like he plays this joke where he falls on the floor and then cries out and then they're all like Greg's like worried like ah what happened and and he he makes it look like the the picture is next craned in that position and he's like oh gotcha he he does this you know he, he plays the joke he played it earlier and when we're in their Kaufman house and it's like, oh, gotcha. Pretends like he's in trouble. And so the baseball game is like the Bird's team is just losing horribly. 
and then Sherry's like, it's it's really hot out there, and he's like, we we should go home. And then Greg's like, oh, I'll stay for one more inning. I just want to see if Bird's gonna be okay. And then all of a sudden, the pitcher like throws the ball and it accidentally hits Bird in the the head, and he's knocked knocked out in that same position of the his neck craned out, and he's like, oh. and then he's. They're like freaking out. It's like the the picture showed what was gonna happen, but the camera they realized this that the camera makes bad things happen and it shows what's gonna happen to them. And then once they're kind of like reeling from like this, Terry Terry comes like running like out of nowhere to meet them. And he's he looks exactly like the photo that Greg took. He's like all worried and stuff and he's like he puts a hand on Greg's shoulder and he's like there's something happened with dad and he's like, You need to come with me as soon as possible. The mom takes Greg and Terry to the hospital to see the dad and the dad has like broken his arm, uh, broken a few ribs and he's this cast on the hospital bed and what happened is when he was backing out the, the car there was this car that uh, ran the red light and its brakes were shot out and just ran straight into his the car and luckily I mean he could have been hurt worse but he he's still like, a little woozy from everything his voice sounds distant and so like he Greg is feeling like you know he he feels guilty of because the, the camera is causing all this bad things to happen and so he he tries to tell dad he's like hey I need to tell you about this camera I know you're not gonna believe me but then the mom cuts him off short saying like you know this is this is not the time for that kind of nonsense and so the next day he's just Greg's just like kind of like losing it, you know, he doesn't know what to do. And so the next day, uh, Sherry has this birthday party. She's like calling Greg on the phone, he's like, why aren't you here already, you know? And he's like, I don't really feel like going because he's still getting over the dad's accident and what happened to Bird. And the camera is just putting him on edge. And, he's, and she's like, I want you to to come right now and I want you to bring the camera and he's like I don't think that's such a good idea <laughs> you know considering all, everything that's happened with it and she's like no it'll be cool it'll be like like a gag like I want you to take my picture and we maybe take pictures of the other party goers and it'll, it'll be fun it'll be it'll be wacky and reluctantly decides to go and Sherry's like, uh, meets him out in the, the front yard, saying like, I want you to take my picture, and she like starts to pose, or something like that, and he's just like, you know, I don't think this is such a good idea, you know, you remember what happened to my, my dad, and you know what happened to Bird, and Michael, this, this is not a good idea, and it's just, it doesn't, it makes sense for the story, but like, it's just, you would think after all this stuff has happened with the camera, Sherry, she's not dumb, like, you would think she would, like, this is, something bad's gonna happen to her, but in order for the plot to progress, like, you know, to have to keep on taking pictures. So he takes a picture of her, and she's very, like, insistent of saying, like, uh, let me see how it developed, I wanna see the picture. And the picture was taken while she was a tree was behind her and all it shows is just a tree and she's not even in the picture and she's like so he's very upset he's like why am I why aren't I in this picture like what's wrong this stupid camera she's really upset she kind of like storms off into the woods and then after about like 15 minutes or so like she hasn't come back yet and Bird goes into the woods to find her, and after a few minutes, he comes back and he's like, uh, "Can't find her." And then it just 
they sent out like a search party and just, so she can't be found like she's disappeared and then the mom calls the cops and the cops come over and one of the cops is like questioning people and everyone that was at the party is already gone at this point and Greg is just kind of just there and he's just like he's distraught and he knows he took the picture and it's like it was the camera again like he shouldn't have been there he shouldn't have taken the picture it's just he doesn't know what to do because this is the first time something like this has happened all the other times something bad happens but then now she's just gone and so the cop like you know it's like hey son you should should be going home like why are you still here and so Greg tells the cop about the camera and the photos it makes bad things happen to the people or things that it takes a picture of the cops like he doesn't believe him you're just getting over the the shock of Sherry disappearing you're not in the right state of mind just just go I'll send up a squad car over and we'll take you home and he's like nah that's fine I'll, I'll walk home and he goes back home and then after a couple of days he's just staring out his window looking at Sherry's house and just thinking like what is he gonna do like where is Sherry she's like disappeared off the face of the earth one day when he comes back from school he finds that his his room has just been ransacked like somebody's pulled out all the drawers and just like uprooted everything it's like somebody was looking for something and he suspects that Spidey is looking for the camera and he's, he has this to think about now it's like he calls Michael and Bird on the phone saying we need to do something we need to take the camera back to Kaufman house so get, we gotta get rid of this thing and they're all like coming up with these excuses like it's getting too late and like I don't think it's such a good idea maybe we'll do it uh, some other day and then Grix is you know he's looking back at the the picture of Sherry he's thinking like there's gotta be some kind of clue something he must have missed but he's just he's you know he's, he's fed up with the camera he he takes the the picture of Sherry and he tears it in the next couple of hours he refuses a, a, he receives a phone call from Sherry how is this possible like are you really Sherry like uh, like what happened to you obviously <laughs> you know he's like I I don't know what's been going on but she's been gone for like two days all I know is I've just appeared at my front door and I don't recall what's what has happened and so you can easily figure out that the camera made her disappear and then he tells her you know after some time has gone by it's like we we need to take the camera back to the Kaufman house and must be rid of it because it's brought nothing but bad luck and just it's destroyed their lives and so only him and Sherry are able to go and Bert and Michael just kind of chickened out and making their way down there once they're there they're like they they peek around around the corner of the house and there's a a window showing the basement and the, that's usually where Spidey leaps and they're making sure like be easy around and he's not there so we're like okay the coast is clear let's, let's go in and he goes up to the second floor and then spins the vice and then puts the camera back in the secret compartment and they start walking off they're going downstairs and then they hear somebody coming down the stairs and it's Spidey and they're like oh and then Greg's like just he's reached his breaking point like just leave us alone we we brought back your camera like just let us go he's like I, I'm afraid I can't do that he basically does an exposition dump on them saying like you know I wasn't always like this I used to be a scientist and me and my partner 
built this camera and it was going to be like this state of the art this impressive camera that's going to make them rich but he says like I was I was evil, I was self-centered. I wanted to keep the, the camera to myself, take my partner out of the equation so that I would get all the money from the camera. He said, the thing is, my partner was even more evil than I was. He put a curse on the camera, like he, he knew black magic and stuff, strange. And he put a curse on it so that it would destroy my life having cheated him out of the, the camera. He tells him that's the reason why the, the pictures, bad things happen to people. And he says the, the, the camera can't be destroyed. It, it actively seeks out people's souls and it tries to steal them. And that's what happened to Sherry, like it tried to steal her soul. It's when Greg tore the picture, that's when the, the spell was released and she reappeared. And so, is. The kids are like, oh, okay, you know, that's that's fine. That's cool that you let us know all this backstory. And he's like, we'll, we'll keep your secret. You know, like we won't tell anyone, and we'll leave you alone. So can we go now? <laughs> but he's like, oh, I'm afraid. You know, I can't let you go now that you know about the camera. It's like I don't want anybody else to know about it. And he says that's why he's been staying around the Kaufman house. He wants to make sure nobody else gets their hands on it. And, and it causes like this confrontation. And so all, all the while this was going on, he was talking about the, the camera. He forces Greg to go back and retrieve the camera for him. The kids are like, you know, it's just let's go. And he's like, you know, I can't, can't let you do that after knowing the secret of the camera. The kids bolt off with the camera and then the spies chasing after them. And they're like, gotta think of something fast. Uh, even if we get away, he's gonna just chase us down and find us wherever we go and he's not gonna let up. And so Greg gets the idea about to tackle them. He, he takes a picture of Spidey. And Spidey just like kinda like reels back like ah. like you can't believe he would do something like that. And he just like runs off like screaming, just like ah, you know, in pain. And the, the kids look at the, the picture that develops and it shows Spidey just like looking look in the shock like he's had a heart attack. They go over to look at him and he's he's dead. <laughs> when the cops come they think he had a heart attack but the kids know that the camera scared him to death. Greg goes in, puts the camera back in the compartment and then they, they take off is like, we're done, we're never coming back. The, the local bullies were spying on Greg and Sherry and they they go to retrieve the camera because the camera is obviously valuable for them to want to hide it and so they're like goofing around like hey take my picture and they do a pose and that's where the story ends so this is a fun story I, I really like the premise of the of a cursed camera that causes bad things to happen whenever it takes a picture of somebody or something it's it's an interesting idea. It's a pretty cool story. Just kind of seeing like you know something bad's gonna happen, but it's not necessarily it's gonna happen in in the near future. But you're just like thinking like what's gonna cause this? And it's kind of like this mystery, and then Spotty's kind of like an interesting character, and it's just the the backstory. <laughs> it's just. Sounds crazy like these these two evil sensor center scientists make this camera and then one of them tries to beat the other by using black magic to put this curse on the camera because you can't have the camera. This it's it's pretty pretty ridiculous. The part that really got me, I think the weakest part, but it it needs to be there in order for the plot to progress. Sherry calling out Greg, telling her to bring the, the camera to her birthday party so he can take her picture. It's like, after everything that's been going on, why would she want this? this something bad's gonna happen to her, like, doesn't make any sense. It's, it's perfectly fine. I understand why it 
it's so fondly remembered because it's, it's such a great idea. All right, so that's all I have for you guys this week. Next week we're going back to Horrorland to review Scream of the Haunted Mask, and it, it has the character from the the very first Haunted Mask, Carla Death, coming back for this one. It should be interesting to see what the sequel is going to be like. So I really enjoyed the original Haunted Mask, and I I, I never read the the second one, so I, I don't know if that one was any good. But really looking forward to that. All right, don't forget to like, share this video, and subscribe to it. All right. Thanks for watching.